Hey guys, welcome back to Bootorials. As always, I'm your host Craig, and today we're going to be talking about So whether you're getting yourself into a new pair of boots, or if you're just trying to diagnose what's going wrong in your current boots, shell fitting is what it's all about to make sure you're in the right shape of boot for your foot. Now shell fitting is a huge subject, and so you really get a good understanding of everything you need to look at, I'm going to break it down into a couple of different parts. But stay tuned because I'm going to fill all these videos with heaps of good information. And before we start looking at the boot shells, it's a really good idea to get a little bit more familiar with your feet. Now everyone has a unique shaped foot, so it's really important that you pay attention to some of these nuances as it greatly affects how your foot will be sitting inside a boot shell. So the first thing you should do is measure your foot. You need to get the length and the width so you know what size of boots to start looking at. But then we've got to start looking at some of the other aspects of your foot which is really going to affect your fit. So things like shape of the toe area, the width and the curvature of the forefoot, how broad or how narrow you are through the heel and lower leg, but also any bony protrusions that you may have on your foot which you'll need to target later. Now I'll run through all these points individually, but they are all pretty critical in checking your shells. So the ultimate goal of your boot shell is to completely surround and support your foot without allowing any extra space for movement or causing constriction. So having this familiarization of your own foot just allows you to better compare them against different boot shells. So it is best to find a shell which matches the shape of your foot as close as possible and then we can progress from there. So the next thing to do is step you inside the shell and now we're gonna start taking a look at how it compares to the internal dimensions of the plastic. Now it is always best to do this process on a footbed. And the reason being is it's gonna give you the true indication of how your foot will be sitting inside the boot. And what you'll generally find is with some arch support, it's gonna draw your toes back, making your foot a little bit shorter but it also prevents your foot from widening out to the outer edge of the shell. Now let's start with the most commonly known shell fitting technique, and that's getting the length right. And what we're gonna do is step you into the shell, bring your toes all the way to the front until they're touching the plastic, and then you wanna have a look behind your heel and see how much space you have. Now the ideal amount of space is gonna be anywhere from 10 to 25 millimeters. Now I consider 25 millimeters to actually be quite generous in length. If you are skiing pretty hard, charging around and jumping off things, I strongly recommend you keep this dimension down to about 10 to 15 millimeters. And the reason being is we don't wanna allow any extra space for your foot to slide back and forth, as what this is gonna do is start slamming your toes and smashing up your shins. But as a rule for everybody, 10 to 25 millimeters is your length range. But that is not the whole story. With shell fitting, that is only the beginning. So join me in part two, and we're gonna start going through how to check the right width and volume of boot. Also, if you have any pressure points, how we're gonna be targeting those. So thanks heaps for watching. Stay rad, be a patriot, signing out.